Hi everyone, today we've got a set piece routine for you, particularly a corner kick. And incredibly important these are. If you're in a tight game and you're struggling to create and you need a goal, or you're perhaps playing in bad connection, then set pieces are really important. And this corner kick routine is going to result in a goal for you a lot of the time. I'd say as high as perhaps 70-75% of the time. It's incredibly reliable, it's easy to perform, and we've got some clips explaining exactly how you do it. So, let's get into those. Right, so, how do we do it? Well, the first step that we need to take is to ensure that we've got a left-footed player taking our corners from the left, or a right-footed player taking our corners from the right. You can set that up in tactics before you go into the game, that's what I'd recommend, but if you happen to forget, then you have got the option up here when you're taking the corner to hit RT or R2 on PlayStation, and that will, uh, as I say, give you the opportunity to, to select a different corner taker. Once you've done that, the next step is to take the left stick and to move this aiming line here as far towards the goal that you're attacking as you can. Okay, Nice and easy, very important. Once you've done that, the next step is going to be all about this cursor here. And we want that cursor exactly where it is on the screen. We want it as high up the ball as we can without going too high and we lose inside foot curled. Um, I think it's, it's oh, something or another low, I can't remember off the top of my head. But we want to make sure that it's telling us that we've got the inside foot curled selected. So. As far over towards the goal we're attacking, again, as high up the ball as we can go, as long as inside foot curled is showing. Right, now, once we've got all of that sorted out, we're then going to hit L1 or LB, and that is going to give us control of this attacker just there, okay? And that's generally the best header of the ball that we have in our team. So when we've hit L1, it's going to change camera, and we're going to move this attacker. We'll, we'll see this in a moment. I'll play the clip through. We're going to move this attacker out here towards the penalty spot. And the reason for that is it's going to allow us to, to make a run. And it's going to give us momentum. It's going to help us to win the ball ahead of the defenders and give us some extra power on the shot. Before we get too concerned with all that, however, once we've selected this player, that's when we can power up the corner kick. And what we're going to do is just give it full power. We're going to give it the full four, full four bars. It's, it's not a very subtle routine, this. Uh, you know, everything's moved to extremes. So pretty easy to remember. Once you've executed it once or twice, you'll find it really, really easy. Right, let's play the clip through. Slow it down slightly so you can follow it. So you can see me just wobbling around, getting the right position here. Once I've done that, I've pressed L1. There we go. I've got control of my attacker here, Bailly. And as I said a moment ago, what I'm gonna do is just move him out here to the penalty spot so that he's got that, that space to make the run. Whoops. There he goes, out towards the penalty spot. And now I press square on PlayStation or X to actually take the, uh, the corner kick. And it's very important here, what you're gonna notice is that as uh, the corner taker actually strikes the ball, as he makes contact, that is when I begin my run with Bai. And I attack the space between the two defenders here. Now, you may not always make contact with the ball in that space, I don't think I do in this clip, but if that's where you actually attack, uh, you will find that you do win the vast, vast majority of headers against those defenders. Generally speaking, you will win the header. Uh, the only issue as to whether you score or not will be how accurate the, the RNG is, how accurate the header um, actually turns out to be. So let's advance it again. Just there, as I'm striking the ball, that's where I'm making the run with Bailly. And that's, that's the trickiest part of this routine, really, just getting that timing absolutely correct. It doesn't have to be absolutely correct as long as it's somewhere near it'll be okay let's just rewind that show you it again so we've got the position right we're going to get this correct we're going to select l1 and get by move him out to the penalty spot 
X or square to start the free kick, make contact, make the run, easy goal. Right, another clip here, but from the left-hand side. So we've got a left-footed player, Politano, taking the kick from the left. And it's gonna be exactly the same thing. You can see here, I'm too high up the ball. I'm, I'm pushed across to the left. I've got the marker across to the left, but I'm too high up the ball. It's showing me inside foot low. So I need to move the cursor back down using the right stick and I'm down to inside foot curled. That's the ideal position. Once I've done that, I'm gonna select my big man here in the box. Where are we? There we go. And it's gonna be exactly the same routine. Once I've selected him, I'm gonna power it all the way up with Politano. There goes the power. It'll switch me to this screen, where once again, don't think we really need the illustration, but we will, up towards the penalty spot. And then as Politano strikes the ball, I make my run with Bailly and just win the header and bury it. Really simple goals. There goes the run. There's the header. Happy days again. So there we go. Hopefully you'll get the hang of that quite quickly. Once it gets into your muscle memory, like many other things, it's really, really easy. And if you want to see more content like this, please remember to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, thumbs up. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.